Hi friends, today we will talk about the grounded and ungrounded AC systems. The answer of the question why current or any charge starts to flow towards earth or goes inside earth that will be answered in this video. So if we consider a single phase AC system then we find there is a phase and a neutral in a single phase AC system. So the neutral of the single phase AC system is connected to the ground. So basically because of that whenever there is a fault in AC system then the current starts to flow towards the earth. It is not going to the earth basically it is going to the source through the shortest path. So here due to fault the shortest path becomes phase to ground and then ground to its source. Now we will see what happens in a three phase AC system. In a three phase AC system a generator is connected to a transformer through this transmission lines and then it is fed to load. So basically around us what the system we see are the grounded system. The neutral of the transformer as well as the generators are connected to the ground. So basically the potential of the neutral that is zero volt we are imposing that potential to the ground. So because of that only whenever there is a fault in the any of the phase the fault current from the phase starts flowing towards ground it is basically not flowing towards ground it is following the shortest path and going to its source now we will see elaborately what happens in an ungrounded system so in an ungrounded system the in, due to the transmission lines there are distributed capacitance along the line with respect to ground so here we can see there are capacitive current from the transmission lines to ground because of the distributed capacitance that are denoted as IRC, IYC and IBC. The summation of all these capacitive currents is equal to zero. So the phase voltages to neutral are R, Y and B. Now if there is a fault in the line B phase then the potential of the ground becomes the potential of B phase. So the phase voltages which were earlier phase to neutral now the phase voltages of R and Y phase will become phase to phase voltages with respect to ground or neutral. So the house appliances which are connected from phase to neutral that all will face a voltage of phase to phase voltage because of this ground fault and if we will talk about the fault current the currents from R phase and Y phase which were earlier flowing IRC and IYC they will still flow to the ground and finally to their source through the faulty B phase as there is no connection between the neutral and the ground so there will be no fault current from B phase towards its neutral will be flowing with that much of negligible current it will be very much difficult to distinguish the fault current and system will not be able to clear the fault. There will be another phenomena in the ungrounded system because of the capacitive effect there will be arcing grounds or we say restriking voltage. The capacitors will charge and discharge again and again and because of that this kind of phenomena occurs. So let us see what happens in a grounded system. So in a grounded system we can see here the neutral of the three phase system is grounded through a connection. So basically we are imposing the neutral voltage that is zero volt of the neutral to the ground. So we are making the ground potential as zero potential. So now when the lines are charged as like in ungrounded system there will be capacitive current from the lines towards the ground. So the summation of IRC, IYC and IBC will be zero. So there will be no potential difference between transformer and the capacitive neutral. Now we will see what happens if there is a fault. Suppose there is a fault in B phase. So because of the fault as the potential of the ground is already made zero by connecting the neutral of the source to ground. So the potential which was in ungrounded system R phase and Y phase was shifted from phase voltage to line to line voltage. Now it will remain same 
here in the ground root system. So because of the fault in B phase, there will be a fault current from B phase here to again to the towards its source through this faulty path. So that will be totally inductive current and in other two phases as they were IRC and IYC coming from the line to the ground they will remain the same and they will flow towards their source through this shortest path that is through the fault. So there will be two component of current. First the capacitive current that will be IRC plus IYC that will flow to phase C through that faulty path and the other component of current will be because of the fault of C phase that current will flow from C phase through this faulty path to ground and then ground to its neutral that is source. This current will be much higher than the capacitive current that will be flowing from R phase and Y phase. So that much of high current will be enough to distinguish the fault and able to isolate that fault from the system. So friends if you like the video and also the explanation you please like share and comment below the video and also subscribe the channel for